give us a feel of, you know, this loss that Kenyans have faced. I'm with Msamali George, who is a security uh, analyst. Uh, he has worked with the security decade for, for about a decade now. Now, Msamali, a very good afternoon to you once again. Can you please give us a rough picture of, you know, the loss you've had in the security sector? It's a major loss because uh, if I look at the history of Kenya, this is the first time we've had a CS in charge of the interior docket who actually has practical experience of security work. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be a tall order for Matiangi to fit in uh, General Kaiseri's shoes, uh, bearing in mind that we are heading into a very challenging time period. Uh, these are elections are here. We've heard about the Al-Shabaab attacks in uh, Lamu. And uh, this calls for a person who can actually call the shots and make sure that everything works. Mm -hmm. this are, we need a person who can have strategies, who can plan practically. Uh, remember, before we had Kayseri, we had Olelenko, who also did not have the practical experience we're talking about here. And you see, everything was messed up. But uh, with the coming in of General Kayseri, we saw some semblance of uh, order in the security docket. Mm -hmm. uh, we no longer had inter agency library this yeah. is something of the past remember mm -hmm. we used to have blame games every time there was attack uh -huh. you find that uh, the intelligence people will say we gave intel but the police did not act and of course police will come uh, back and say we yeah. didn't get actionable intelligence and of course but the supremacy was between uh, the, the, the administration supremacy police and the police the now we've seen all the lenko before mm -hmm. of course with all due respect he had performed dismally mm -hmm. the latin guy said he came in brought some order and now we're saying another person who has also uh, his work cut out for him. Of course, he has another ministry, that is the education minister, that is CS Fred Matiangi. How effective will he be, perhaps? I don't believe... Uh, he has been very effective in the but education docket. He has a lot in his hands. And then he's getting a very challenging uh, 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 docket also. This is the interior security... I mean, the interior mi ministry. Yes. And uh, you'll remember that he's coming in at a very, very, very challenging time, as I said before. We are heading into elections. Already we've been told that they're hotspots. How is he going to handle this? Yeah, already we had structures. Uh, we had a contingency plan that had been put in place. But will he be able to coordinate all these security agencies as the general used to do? Mm -hmm. Because I uh, remember, as I've said, the general had that background, mm -hmm. the security background. So he knew what to do and when to do it. But this is a person who is purely a lecturer. He came from the universities. Uh, from the university, he was given this ministry. Yes, he has a very good understanding of education, but does he have proper understanding of security? Especially Will he be able to uh, manage. Especially now that we're heading to the general election. Uh, especially now we, that we're we, heading to we the we general election, and we then we have this challenge of the Al Shabaab yes. uh, re emerging now in Boni Forest. Mm -hmm. Yet we've been having uh, an operation there that has been ongoing for almost a year. George, we all know that both you know, Jubilee and NASA have been at loggerheads on various issues, but we've had uh, the NASA presidential candidate, Raylo Odinga, say, uh, Raylo Odinga, they're critical criticizing the government's move to appoint uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi. Do you think the government was right to make sure that they don't leave any sort of vacuum in this critical docket? The government was right. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't fault the government on this. This is a very critical docket. Mm -hmm. And remember, we have so many security challenges as per now. Mm -hmm. We have the general elections coming. And as I've said earlier, we already have been told that there's a possibility. Yes. Not from... The Kenyan government alone, mm -hmm. the police have said they have identified hotspots. Mm -hmm. There's likelihood of uh, violence. We had the National Commission, of, uh, National NSIC. Mm -hmm. I've also talked about this. The European Union also came out and said there's a possibility of violence breaking out. So yes. we couldn't allow a vacuum in leadership, especially in this docket. Clearly, it's a very important docket. And uh, I think the National Security Council, which is also another critical body, they've already said that they're going to release a press briefing concerning the demise of uh, the let CS there. Could you please give us a rough picture of what exactly the job of a CS of Interior is? The CS of Interior, especially when it comes to matters of security, he mm -hmm. coordinates all the security agencies mm -hmm. that are involved in matters of internal security. Yeah. Uh, this We have the National Intelligence Services, mm -hmm. we have the National Police Service, under the National Police Service we have the Kenya Police and then we have the Administration Police. Mm -hmm. So he is the person that is in charge of all coordination. As we are speaking now, we have police officers that are undergoing training on how to deal with, uh, uh, on how to handle electoral violence. And I think this is one of the major areas that Matiang will need to come in very quickly and grasp. Because uh, we know that every election year from 1992 to 25 years, we've been having violence. Mm -hmm. Every five years, when we head to an election, we have violence. So I think 
picking on Matiangi very quickly mm -hmm. because I think he has a track record. He has performed very well in education. The various ministers and, and, and I think, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think uh, the president has confidence in him mm -hmm. uh, as he had confidence in General Kayseri. Mm -hmm. So this is a very crucial uh, docket and I hope he's going to match uh, the late Major General uh, Kayseri. George, above all, leadership is very important in this docket so as far as the command chain is concerned. So I think somebody who has had some sort of a uh, uh, background in uh, be it military or any other security force should have come in handy. But do you think as much as the government has gone ahead and appointed uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi for this position, maybe they might, they might have some plan B in place? I think they must, they must have some plan B in place. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely Matiangi is just going to be the manager. Yes. We have people that are in charge of operations. Mm -hmm. We have the inspector general of police. We have the deputy inspector generals of police. These are the people that actually are going to manage the police. But mm -hmm. they should be reporting to Matiangi. So I believe with those able hands in office, mm -hmm. uh, we are not seeing so much of a crisis because uh, basically Matiangi is just coming in to make sure that everything runs smoothly mm -hmm. at that level, the management level. Mm -hmm. But down here, everything is still in place. We had plans, and I know things will work out. But we're just 30 days away from the general election. Remember, this is a very critical moment. It's a very critical moment, uh -huh. Yusuf. And uh, as, as I said, uh, we can't accept to have a vacuum. And this is yes. why we need to head we needed to have a person in place mm -hmm. who can be able to coordinate all police operations or security operations as we head to these elections. Mm -hmm. yeah. Many thanks, George, for your input. That is Somali George, who is a security uh, analyst there, talking to us on this very, very sad day as far as uh, the news we've received this morning is concerned. That is the death of the Interior Cabinet Secretary, uh, Joseph Nkaiseri. And just a recap of what we know so far is that uh, the wife of the let uh, general is still admitted in hospital because of high blood uh, pressure. The body of the let uh, CS is still at the Lee funeral home. Our reporter Abdi Osman is there. Both Jubilee, of course, both President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto have suspended uh, their campaigns. They also supposed to be in Turkana today and they have called off their campaigns just to make sure uh, that they mourn the death of Nkaiseri. But NASA is saying they're, they're going to continue with their campaigns at the cost, but they're going to observe a moment or a minute of silence to remember the fallen general there. If you're just joining us, we are bringing you back-to-back -back coverage of this very sad news. You can see it on our video wall, rest in peace and Kayseri, something that has been uh, trending since morning when we had uh, that breaking news uh, for you. We're going to take a very short break, but we'll be right back with much more. Don't go too far.